everybody, this is Amy from RaisingArrows.net and today's Ask Amy is about the television. That's right, that big black box in your living room. A reader wanted to know my thoughts on television and not the particulars of which shows to watch and which shows aren't okay for children to watch or for families to watch together, but more about the rules that we have surrounding the watching of television and whether or not we even own a television. For many years, we didn't own a television. I put it away when my husband was deployed, and we just didn't bring it back out. But we've slowly begun to add in movies and online um, shows and audio and video from online sources more and more into our homeschool. And so we have brought back in a TV, per se. We do own a TV, but we do not have channels on that TV. We have a VCR and DVD hooked up to that, but we also also have Amazon Prime and we watch some YouTube type videos as well. In fact, we even have a projector that we project onto one of the walls in our living room from our iPad. And so in some ways, we do have a television. However, one of the worst things about television are the commercials and the things that you can't control. And that's probably more what I want to talk to you about today is you have to control what your family is seeing. And if you're allowing television to come into your house, you've got to have some controls on that television. And for us, one of the best ways we've found to do this is to not have the regular channels that you typically have where you can't control what the children are flipping through and seeing and you can't control the commercial content. So like I said, we have Amazon Prime, we have YouTube, and of course there are chances that your children are going to run across things that they shouldn't be watching there as well. So you have to continue to be very involved. Another question this reader had was whether or not I think television is a good babysitter or if that's even appropriate at any time in your life. While it would be nice to say, no, you can't ever do that, I know that realistically, sometimes moms just need to step back from the daily grind and give their kids something to do, especially during seasons in your life when maybe the couch is holding you hostage due to morning sickness or you need to get something done. In fact, several times a week, I let my little boys watch a video while I take some concerted effort with my middle kids, teaching them their school subjects, and that lets the little boys have something to do. I try to make it fairly educational, something like Blue's Clues or something like that on Amazon Prime I let them watch, but sometimes it's just a show like Too Cute where they show lots of cute little cuddly animals, and I do about 30 minutes of that so that I can really focus on my middle kids. So yes, sometimes it is okay. Okay, just beware that television and movies, no matter what venue they are, can become addictive and become something where they are seeking entertainment. And when, it, when that happens, then you start to see where your kids are bored and they can't think of anything to do but watch television. That's what you need to be aware of. Don't watch so much TV that they're constantly craving that. We have certain days that are movie days and other days we do not allow the television. Um, of course, the children have things that they watch that involve their um, school subjects, but I'm talking about just mindless watching of movies and things like that. We have only certain days that we do that. And even though that's been in place for years and years, I still have kids who continue to ask every single day if this is a movie day. So just understand that you need to put parameters and guidelines on your television watching. No matter what you do, you need to be the parent and be in control. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much.